I had a Jessica Simpson poster in my room growing up. Yeah? Yeah, she was mopping the floor. She was mopping the floor? Yeah. Was that your poster girl? Yes, she was. My poster girl in my room was definitely Beyonce. Oh. Yeah. I had a few other people like ripped out of teen magazines, but she had, she got like the special treatment. She got like actual, you know, merch posters and like exclusive touring stuff that no one else had. So she was the queen of the wall. (laughs) Sorry. Is it weird to think that people have like posters of you in their house? (laughs) Yeah. It's a bit strange. (laughs) Yeah. I can't show you the other wall. just to show (laughs) you. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's weird like it's it's really amazing but it's it's funny like it's weird because you think of other artists like I think about Beyonce and I think she's she's not really human you know in my world she's this existence of just something higher um because I've been idolizing her for so long and I've just put her on a pedestal that I don't want to take her down from. So I, it's almost like I don't want to meet her and realize that she is just a normal person because we all are. And uh, when I think about someone having posters of me in there, I just go back to myself and I think, what, I'm just like a person. So it's it's funny how the human brain is even wired to like, be able to idolize people or put even like I guess it comes back to like religion even like you know I almost pray to Beyonce like you know what I mean (laughs) it's like that that's my God in my life I'm not I don't believe in anything else uh, except for love and respect but you know uh it's it's funny how our brains are like wired to even do that Because we're all good people. So what do you carry with you that Beyonce has taught you in your own music and career? I think just being always to always do your best. I feel like she is one of the most hardworking women out there. And I'm not saying that because I personally know her. I'm saying that because you can see that in her performances and in her music and um, videos and just everything that she does. I just feel like she does it. 110 percent and that's really inspiring to also just see how she is so hands-on uh in everything she does and the yeah she she's very inspiring because you could just you could just do anything like if you really really put your mind to it and are super super focused so I think that's what got me like (gasps) Yeah, and she's great. She has a great voice. She has a great, yeah, just everything. Just this going to turn into the Beyonce fan podcast. But she really does have something special, don't you think? Yes, Dan doesn't, but I do. I knew. You didn't even have to say anything. I could just see on your face that you're the type of person who is like, yeah, she don't impress me that much. Yes. That's, that's not what I said. <laughs> you guys are putting words in my mouth. No. <laughs> No, you're on no. the record in no, other moments. Th- yes. Okay. I'll, let me, hey, let me explain. I okay. think Beyonce is incredible, but yeah. I think I don't understand the Beyonce super fans. The ones like really? you, like you said, you 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 made a good point. They look at her like a god, like it's a religion, and that yeah. kind of confuses me. Where these people just praise her and like bow down <laughs> and kiss her feet no matter what she does, and that's what I don't get. You believe yeah. that she is undeserving of it. <laughs> so now you're, yeah. no, you do. You've said it before, though. And, and you've no. said it on record. So. But I know what you mean, though. I'll try to be very understanding here. I do know yeah. what you mean. And I think it, like, it touches what I was saying when it comes down to the fact that we're all just normal humans. And like, it's funny, though, being an artist and also being a fan because – like the being like a super fan like the fan culture of like really really idolizing someone i'm not saying it's strange but it's definitely like it's a funny relationship you know what i mean totally and i i do think that it is such a 
strong force that it's greater than the individual that oh, you're 100%. idolizing because like yeah. it, it gives people friendships and yeah. community and it brings yeah. people together and it makes and allows people to feel heard and understood yeah. and yeah. yeah like i think there's totally um yeah. you're right though that's a very good that's a good way of putting it like it's bigger than the person yeah because uh, they become this like force so everything around it is it's a sense yeah. and and, and <laughs> so much it's like like so much can form as an extension of it and i yeah i think that's pretty spectacular yeah but beyonce's deserving of it uh for many reasons outside of the fact that she's outstandingly talented she's yeah. clearly a businesswoman and done it. I mean, she's really pioneered a whole bunch, but uh, yeah, absolutely. But, like, there's like pop stars and musicians, and then people like Beyonce and Rihanna have separated themselves. They're like on a whole different tier. They're like a class yeah. of their own. But at the end of the day, they are just people. Yeah. No, I hear that. Like the one day, pictures went viral of Beyonce shopping at Target, and yeah. <laughs> everyone's like, "Oh my God, Beyonce shops at Target! I'm gonna start. I gotta go to Target." And I, look, I was like, "It's just." She's a person. Of course, she's gonna yeah. go to Target. She got to the tool. She's gonna go to Target. I know, but then, she, and then people are so like, they just can't believe it that she does like normal people things because they wouldn't expect her to do that. Because even if you like her or not, you, most people do put her with a lot of other celebrities on this pedestal where they're kind of like, they don't almost want you to not do normal things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do, do you think of Barack Obama as just a person, Dan? I think yeah. me personally think he's very approachable. I've never met him, but he feels like he's like, yeah, huh, we could hang out. Exactly. That's you true. Know what I mean? but also ethereal, like also like, uh, like Jesus. That's, just, that's why Bernie Sanders is very popular oh. amongst like popular culture because he don't even like, he feels very approachable and he feels like, he is like my uncle like you know what i mean he is the most I, normal human being on the face of the earth yeah. i met him and he is the most one of the most genuine leaders we'll ever see yeah. ever I know. yeah i still get butterflies when i see barack obama on tv yeah. <laughs> i love him yeah okay which by the way totally agree with you so do you think but okay hold on say just like barack obama is just a person like he doesn't go out and get toilet paper, okay. probably. Well, I don't think he really can. He's he he can't yeah. really do much without tons of security around him. I guess Beyonce is the, the same way. <laughs> but yeah, Zara, you said Obama is approachable. Do you see is Beyonce approachable? Uh, not to me, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I want her to be because I, I you know, I no, think I, it's I like it. it's it, it's this form of beauty in that way of like idolizing someone that high but I also think she was before this time of having social media having Twitter having Instagram I don't know if it's possible for an artist to um to be that today and to reach that level without being approachable maybe that's why (laughs) maybe that's why Barack Obama he does feel more approachable because he kind of has to be to be liked and to um be getting people on his side or whatever i think that's also a a very clear it's it's telling a lot of about the era we're in i think and and you know you made such an incredible point beyonce is this because she existed in this major way in mm-hmm. a pre social in a pre-social media era where exposure and connection points to celebrities were very low. So when somebody feels less accessible to you, they are instantly put on a pedestal. And they feel like a superstar. Yes. Like being on Twitter, being on Instagram from the very beginning, being overexposed, it's like that works against you to a certain degree if you want to be – this, yeah. you know, Beyonce totally, artist, totally. less is more in a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's hard because at the same point, when you're starting out as an artist or whatever, you do want to let people know that yes. if they're following you, that you're like, 
you know, hey, like we're friends. I personally like that uh, with my fans that I have. I feel like we're like it's different now. You have to be that. It is, it is different now. And then maybe, I don't know. I felt like Rihanna, she used to be more approachable. And then she reached a level where she was like, I don't need to be, mm-hmm. you know? And maybe that's just for her. It makes her personal life easier. Like, I don't know. Um, but she sure gives off, like, I would love to have a drink with Rihanna, but she's not as approachable as she used to be, maybe, because now she reached superstar level, and by her not being super, uh, like, approachable, whatever you want to say, it, it gives her a little bit of more of a superstar status. Dude, yeah, because she's less places, so people are always like, where's Rihanna? What's going on with Rihanna? Yeah. She's not here. Where's she at? What's up? <laughs> yeah, the she's the most secretive. Yeah, that's like I, it, people totally. like that mystery. We have very mm-hmm. few mysteries anymore. Um, uh-huh. True. Rihanna, the aliens. You know, we gotta hold on to a few. 